So we are going to do 3.4. Which is equivalent statements. Okay. So equivalent should kind of remind you of the word equal because they are equivalent to each other. They are synonyms. Um, okay. So equivalent statements. So we symbolize so symbolized with I actually wrote this on the board behind me it is going to be very similar to your biconditional arrow with the two sides so two points we actually have like an equal sign in between them okay so this symbol would be um, a symbol that we use or we could use an equal sign with three horizontal bars. Okay, and these are used when both statements have exactly the same truth values. So this is the blah, 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 blah. these are also known as <clears throat> so we're in the logic section right and if we're talking about equivalent statements they're also known as logically equivalent So after we define something, we always do an example. Determine whether the following statements are equivalent. Determine whether the following statements are equivalent. Okay, so the first example that we will do is this one with the first statement being P and open Q or R. And then the second statement is open P and Q close or open P and R. Never super fun when you see a PQR, but I know that it's represented a lot on the homework and it'll be on the test. So the only, the only real headache doing it in class is having to write the whole, like all the cases every single time. Okay. So let's go ahead and start that process. <laughs> this should be like the back of your hand right now. T T T T F F F F T T F F T T F F and then alternate beginning with T. So I'm going to write the first statement down, which was P and open Q or R close. Then I'm going to divide with a column where it's like creates two columns separating them. Um, the other statement is open P and Q close or open P and R close. I notice parentheses all over the place. 
I'm going to start with the first statement that I have here. Obviously, start in my parentheses. Uh, this is just a simple operation. Nothing's being negated. Go ahead and indicate that this is the first thing I work on. It is an or statement. Or is this or that. And what I'm looking at is the P or Q. So if you start here, is this or this true? Yes. This or this? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Again, y'all, if something's not being negated, like you don't really have to mark it down. Um, in this instance, the reason why you don't have to is because they're both not being negated. So you can just look here. Okay. And then the second thing I would do, um, you could either notice that I'm going to look at the conjunction of the first column with the fourth column, and you don't have to copy this again. But I kind of like to because it just, I think, keeps things nicer and neater. Last column, which would be the answer column to the first statement, is to take the conjunction between my P and the Q or R. So that's that right there. If I do the conjunction of those, it's this and that. So they both need to be and in order to get your true. So if I look here, is this and this true? Yes, 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 no, 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 no. It looks as if I have three T's and then five F's. And that's the answer column for the first statement. If it's asking me to see if things are logically equivalent, which it is, I need to do the work here. The answer column, if it matches this one, it would be telling me that if you did truth tables, um, which I mean, I'm saying if we're doing it, right? If we have these and it has logical equivalents, it's saying if you do the truth tables, are their answer columns the same, right? So if we get T, 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 F, 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 F right here, both of these statements, even though they don't look alike, will be equivalent to each other, okay? And it's just because there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do within a compound statement. But logically, they could be equal, you know? So let's do that. Nothing's being negated. <clears throat> I'm going to start here, then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to answer it. P and Q. What I'm looking for is this and this are both true. That's why I said bring extra things if you need to. If you're working on something, I covered up everything except for where I'm looking. Okay, it kind of helps. This and this, right? You start at case one. Is this and this true at the exact same time? Are they both T's? Yes. Are these both T's? Yes. No. 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 I kind of just counted to make sure I had eight. Sometimes I'll call this more on accident. P and R. Now I don't want my Q. But I do want my R. Okay. P and R. And is both being true at the same time. Is this and this true? If you can say yes to that statement, then your outcome, your truth value is true. Okay. If you look at case one, I see two, two trues. So I get true. No. Yes. No. 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 I use one and two to answer three. Or, right? Or is this or this? You need at least one T and you get T. Here, I have at least one T. I have at least one T. I have at least one. No, I don't. 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 The answer column is right here. 
are those two statements logically equivalent to each other? Are their answer columns the same? Yes. Therefore, this first statement and this second statement, again, even though they don't look a lot alike at all, um, they result in the same exact answer column. Okay? Okay. So, when we come back, I'm going to do the other examples of the equivalent statements and like just the rest of 3.4. Okay, we're going to go take our little break right now.